Hi. Uh, I am really, really excited about the prospects of machine learning um, and its effect on education in two sorts of ways, and one of which I, I just mentioned quickly, which is the ways in which it is a technology can help um, help scholars find information, make sense of information, help uh, teachers and students um, personalize, discover weaknesses and strengths. Um, I'm sure that it will uh, introduce a, a whole set of bias into the system, but also I think we'll take a whole bunch of bias out as well, and we need to pay attention to that, of course. But the thing that has me most deeply excited is about machine learning is what I hope will be the effect of its model of how the world works on how we think about how the world works and in a, a couple of ways. I mean, one is that um, machine learning, uh, all of its outcomes are probabilistic. That's, you know, um, it can give a confidence level. Um, it, uh, you can set often confidence levels for the, um, for the project that you are engaging uh, machine learning with. And the idea of confidence levels um, as metadata that we attach to our assertions um, is something I hope we can learn from machine learning. I mean, machine learning will get us used to the idea when it pronounces something that there's a you know, 0.76 uh, confidence level that it's going to rain tomorrow or that you have, you know, you're at risk of some disease or whatever. Um, getting used to hearing assertions with confidence levels attached to them, I think, is a tremendously important lesson for students to learn, for the entire culture to learn, but for students to understand um, as well. Uh, I think it fundamentally changes the power dynamic, for one thing. Um, and one of the ways it changes that power dynamic is uh, can help the continuing move away from authority, teachers as authorities who are conveying um, absolute knowledge, which you know nobody believes in at this point, but still there's a sense of that just from the sort of body language of a classroom to more of a sense of we're in this together. You know, we have reasons to believe this or that at some level of confidence with some set of reasons, um, but we are in a world that is, and this is actually the second thing that I hope we learn from machine learning's model of the world, we are in an incredibly complex world, a chaotic world. Um, that is so far beyond the tiny speck of matter that we call our brains, our capacity to understand it, that, um, that the best we can do is to work together to understand that we are, uh, that the world overwhelms us, um, that we never achieve complete certainty, um, but that we can together still make our way through this world. Um, and if either of both of those characteristics of machine learning's model of, of the world, that the models that it builds for itself, amazingly complex and detailed models in which the contingency of one piece of data on another may be um, difficult to find in itself and the outcomes may rest upon tens of thousands of variables who are interacting in ways that surpass human understanding. Um, if we get that sense and a sense that uh, all that we do comes with some level of confidence or lack of confidence, then I think the nature of the educational project changes for the better. Because I think that the machine learning's model of the world is actually more accurate, truer than the one that we, tend, we humans tend to come up with.